John the Baptist Church here in Ashley on this 13th Sunday of the Trinity. And today's reading is particularly pertinent to our current circumstances, which hopefully we are still being very careful about ensuring we sanitise our hands properly and regularly. We've never been more aware of our own and other people's personal cleanliness and food hygiene before. And we're about to hear Jesus turn what we know about cleanliness on its head. So let us pray. Almighty God, who called your church to bear witness that you were in Christ, reconciling the world to yourself, Help us to proclaim the good news of your love, that all who hear it may be drawn to you through him who is lifted up on the cross and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. So the Pharisees and teachers of the law asked Jesus, why don't your disciples live according to the tradition of the elders instead of eating their food which defi with defiled hands? He replied, Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you hypocrites, as it is written, these people honour me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain, their teachings are merely human rules. You have let go of the commands of God and are holding on to human traditions. Again, Jesus called the crowd to him and said, Listen to me, everyone, and understand this. Nothing outside a person can defile them by going into them. Rather, it is what comes out of a person that defiles them. For it is from within, out of a person's heart, that evil thoughts come. Sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, lewdness, envy, slander, arrogance and folly. All these evils come from inside and defile a person. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today's Gospel reading from Mark points to the hypocrisy of the Pharisees, who gave great weight to the detail of the Jewish law, while at the same time missing the point altogether. So are we any different? The idea is widely held that the most important thing about being a Christian is being good. At worst, this amounts to being respectable. These attitudes are common. People claim to be good Christians. They admit, almost with pride, that they never go to church or say any prayers, but they lead a good life have never got themselves into trouble and tried to help others. 
We all know such people. Often we admire the good work they do. But when the claim is made, all this makes them good Christians, we feel that somehow there is something missing. They have got things mixed up. They have missed the real point. These things should be the fruit of a Christian life. They do not in themselves add up to being a Christian. It is possible to go through the Ten Commandments in some detail and either be annoyed with ourselves because we have slipped up here and there, or very pleased with ourselves because as far as we can see, we haven't done anything wrong. What a good person am I. Neither of these approaches is very profitable. In a real sense, Christianity is concerned not with being good, but with being better. Though, of course, even this is a misleading oversimplification. So we need some clarity. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like namely this, thou shalt love thy neighbour as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. This immediately puts the whole business of being good in a healthier context. It is all tied up then with loving. And love is about faithfulness, discipline, consideration, loyalty, and devotion. What difference does it make when we look at the Ten Commandments in the perspective of love? God's commandments are not just a set of rules he wants us to observe. Keeping the commandments is not an end in itself. It is not the same thing as being a Christian or living the Christian life. The way we live the way we behave reflects our love and understanding of God. The standard of the Christian life is contained in the summary of the law. And we look to God's commandments to give us guidance as we persevere in his glad service. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, you search me out and know me, for my thoughts lie open to your gaze. When I walk or lie down, you are before me, ever the maker and keeper of my days. We pray that we may know you and recognise the Holy Spirit in our lives, particularly in troubled times. May we find strength in each other as we pray. We pray for your world, particularly for Afghanistan, and all the great difficulties and the fears that the population have. May other nations help where they possibly can. Please bring healing to these people. We pray for the pandemic in the world and our own country, and we give thanks for vaccinations and pray that other countries will soon have greater numbers vaccinated. We give you thanks for our local area, for our community, for our families still on holiday and schools very soon to be open again. We pray for our family and churches making up our benefits and for baptisms taking place. We pray for the sick and needy, for health, strength and healing through the Holy Spirit. We remember all those people known to us who are sick or troubled. We pray for those who have died and now are at peace in heaven with you. 
May those who mourn feel comforted by the strength and love of Jesus. Before a word is on my tongue, Lord, you have known its meaning through and through. You are beyond my understanding, God of my present, my past, and future too. Merciful Father, accept, accept these prayers, prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. 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 